emailed out to you. We will be looking at approving those tomorrow. Uh, tomorrow we are having two hearings, uh, Senate Bill 95 and 99, and hoping to work Senate Bill 67. That was at a uh, off-road vehicle weight and size limits. With that, I'll turn it over to JR for continuation on deliberations on the Senate transport, the uh, Kansas Department of Transportation budget. Thank you, Mr. Chairman. Uh, we'll go ahead and have the committee pull out the Kansas Department of Transportation budget. We'll give you a few moments to review that and shuffle through the paperwork. Um, Okay, um, some committees like to do consensus. I would prefer that we just vote on each one, if that's okay with everybody, uh, to go through that process. There's probably only a couple of edits to this budget. So um, we'll begin by opening the Kansas Department of Transportation budget for FY 21 and 22, and the chair recognizes Senator Tyson. Thank you, uh, Mr. Vice Chair. Question for, or point of order. I was told that we are not making amendments to the budget. We were only making recommendations out of committee. Is that correct? Yeah, so we would be amending the budget recommendation. Okay, thank you. I yeah. just wanted to clarify so that, sure. okay. Yeah, so um, it'll look a lot like the bill amendment process, I guess would be the best way to describe it. So we start out with the budget as it's recommended by the governor, and then we will make subcommittee recommendations off of that. Um, which will go through a, a vote process that's similar to how we would amend a bill. Thank Senator Hawk. Mr. Vice Chair. Um, thank you, Mr. Vice Chair. Uh, are the, the major recommendations, I want to make sure I'm in the right place, page 11, is that uh, the governor's rec? Or am I in the wrong spot? Yeah, so that's, yeah, that's, um, yeah, that's what you're seeing there. When you're ready, <laughs> I would uh, make a motion to concur with the governor's recommendation, if that's helpful, or if you would rather have discussion, please. I, I think what we'll do is do discussion, and if anyone has additions or subtractions, let's do that, and then we'll just make a motion as the committee recommends uh, the amending the governor's recommendations. I think that's a better way to go. I, I do think we do have some, some edits that will be made. Senator Pittman? Thank you, Mr. Vice Chair. I, uh, one, the one thing I was looking at is the, the aircraft um, for the highway patrol. I know we, we don't have the highway patrol budget, but being on that committee last year, that we, we're talking about, was it two fixed wings and one helicopter? Um, and I had asked the highway patrol last year, or at least the committee did, um, to look at a more gradual uptick or maintenance type program to bring planes in on or helicopters in on a more regular basis versus having three at once when it's three out of five seems like a very big turnover all at once at a time when uh, we might not uh, necessarily want to prioritize those things over some of the other things going on in our state so i'm not sure how we would make that recommendation since it's not technically this and it's more of a uh, transfer, but I would like the committee to make a recommendation that maybe we recommend either just the FLIR or the FLIR in one of the aircraft. Yeah, that's that's fine to make that recommendation. We'll just have um, have it drawn up as a subcommittee recommendation uh, to remove from the state highway fund the transfer to the Kansas Highway Patrol for the aircraft program minus the additional FLIR. Does that sound appropriate? Is there a second on that motion? Second by, oh, is, no, no second. Somebody second it. I would like a second. Se Senator Dietrich seconds. Let's discuss. Senator Peterson. Yeah, I was wondering if we could make, a, make in that recommendation that the full committee look at ha setting up a separate fund so they could save to this. I do know that this aircraft was, these aircraft were requested last year probably fairly important to them but to do that all at once when we're needing preservation going on and preservation costs 600 percent more if we don't keep our highways well 
But I do see the need for that. I know when they did it in 2012, what had happened was they uh, got new aircraft for the eastern third of the state, a new aircraft for the western third of the state, and a paint job for the central portion of these, this, the state, which at the time was really great because Wichita had a helicopter with the latest and greatest FLIR in it. Well, Wichita has since abandoned their helicopter program so they could afford the body cams, and now the central portion of the state is kind of short on uh, when we're having to look for suspects or look for lost people. So I, I would like to see that recommendation, have the full committee look at possibly having them start saving up for this or look at lease, but to do this all at once right now in this environment is not. But the FLIR that I went out and personally looked at didn't work the day that I went out to look at it. It's, it has some issues. South Central portion, had, you know, the other aircraft in the other areas are 2012 and newer. They have a 1978 and a 1998 aircraft down in Wichita, and only one of them has a FLIR. So I would concur with the motion that, to leave the FLIR in. And, I mean, we're, we're looking at highways that need to be preserved, and it can cost us more in the later. I mean, it's definite need for the highway patrol, but I don't know that this is where we want to take the money from. Great. Um, Mr. Chairman, if you don't mind, we'll um, we'll make that a separate line item right below this one. Um, let's go ahead and, and discuss and take a vote on this particular motion, and then we'll just make yours a separate motion, if you don't mind. Okay. Senator Hawk. Um, just clarification on Senator Pittman's motion. Are you taking out the full $16.1 million? Could you clarify what you're intending to do? Mr. Chair. Yeah, go ahead, Senator Pittman. Um, no, I'm just recommending that we only go with one versus three and include a FLIR. I don't, I'm not going to prioritize for them. I don't know the details of what they're looking at right now, so I don't think it's fair for me to dictate. But something less than the $16 million, yeah. So you're, you're guessing roughly a third? I would guess it would probably be a third, but I think the helicopter is a little bit more expensive. Um, but since it's not our budget per se, this is going to sweep out of the budget. We can't necessarily dictate what the exact amount would be, I don't think. I hear you. Thank you. If I might, Mr. Chairman. Recognize Aaron. Thank you, Mr. Chairman. Just a little note here that, uh, as you have discussed, this is kind of stepping into the Highway Patrol's budget, but you can recommend the decrease or further review at omnibus of alternative options because it is a transfer from the State Highway Fund. So, I mean, you could discuss with the Chair of Transportation Public Safety Budget Committee the options as to that budget, but that's kind of not within the realm of this. I mean, you have to be yeah, careful. I think we we're just, there. yeah, Aaron, what, what we're going to do is we're just going to make a recommendation to the committee to review that. I think the, the budgets will be one on top of the other when they do get to Ways and Means. So they'll they'll be sort of reviewed in the contemporaneously, I guess is the word I'm looking for. Um, and I serve on the public safety subcommittee, so we'll make sure that this is discussed there as well. Any further discussion on the motion? Senator Hawk. Um, I, I'm not sure uh, how many years they've been recommending this. Uh, and, and I uh, agree with Chairman Peterson. This is cer certainly something I think we need for public safety. Um, I had a uh, chance to visit with them yesterday, and and I remember, uh, I think at least uh, the last two years, and maybe even longer than that, Chairman Peterson may remember that we've got old aircraft, and and uh, this is technology that really does protect the public. So um, I, I recognize we always have some tough trade-offs, but. I also want to be sure that, that uh, we have the capacity to do that. And um, I think some of the comments the chairman made about the way they divide the different sections of the state up. And, you know, if we have one functional helicopter uh, and we have a need in western Kansas, we're not going to get there. Or if it happens to be down in Wichita and we have a need in eastern Kansas, we may not get there in time. This could be life-saving, and I, I think we really are way behind having uh, functional helicopters and uh, uh, technology to do what we need to do. And, and on top of that, a lot of the, the local 
police departments that used to have this service don't anymore, as I understand. So I'm, I'm really torn. Um, if, if we don't have the money, and that's what Ways and Means decides uh, as we do those trade-offs, but uh, I certainly don't want to give the impression that we don't think this is important. As an early committee, I think donuts are in order. Um, <laughs> I will note this. <laughs> I, I will note this, Senator Hawk. We have seen this mul multiple times uh, in appropriations and ways and means. I don't think I have ever seen it as a complete fleet replacement like this, as a one-time $16 million charge to the budget. Um, that, is, that is something we have not seen in the past. Um, we have certainly seen plans for lease. We have seen plans for periodic replacement, but a $16 million line item is definitely new. Senator Hawk. Uh, my recollection is we haven't responded uh, with anything over the last four or five years either. Is that correct? Um, yeah, we, we didn't approve those plans. You know. even, even the more gradual ones? No, smaller amounts. and and I think part of that was also because they came in after the budget. They were not approved budget line items through the governor's recommendations. <laughs> do, do, do those cameras shoot through the state house or? <laughs> Any further discussion on the motion? Senator Clues. I'm just curious, uh, what, what other agencies have, like, planes or helicopters? Um, I think that you will see one in the Kansas Department of Wildlife and Parks, and you'll see roughly 36 with Kansas State University. 36? Senator Pyle. Could you restate the motion, please, just for the record? Would you prefer my restatement of it? Okay. <laughs> so um, what we are recommending is that the subcommittee will recommend that the Ways and Means Committee review the removal of the line item containing the law enforcement asset replacement aircraft program minus the additional uh, FLIR purchases. Does that sound right? Oh, you want a whole aircraft? Oh, all right. Well, then let's throw an aircraft in there for you, too, <laughs> Senator Pittman. SS Pittman. All right. Any further discussion, committee? All right. Let's go ahead and vote on this. All in favor say aye. Aye. Opposed? Motion carries. We'll add that recommendation. We'll recognize the chair for a uh, subsequent recommendation. I don't know if it's necessary as long as they're looking at it, but I would like to recommend that, you know, the, the upkeep on the helicopters and everything they stated in their budget was going to raise their upkeep to a million dollars a year, over a million dollars a year, and from the several hundred thousand dollars that it is right now. And, I mean, having this come out of the highway budget is, is my concern that the need is definitely there for at least one aircraft but is this the year and do we want to fund it out of the highway fund that is kind of the question is, is that i'd like to make sure that the committee on this takes a look at i don't know whether that needs a recommendation or not did you want to recommend that they have a uh, explore the idea of having a fund set aside i would like to recommend that we have they have explore the idea of having a fund set aside to uh just like save up for aircraft replacement and, and avoid use of the state highway fund um senator Pittman seconds that motion i don't i don't have to have the uh, avoids the use of the highway fund if they want to do a little bit at a time you know the the aircraft did does help protect the highways i can see that nexus but uh sure all right any other discussion senator tyson oh it is seconded any further discussion on that motion Seeing none, all those in favor signify by saying aye. Opposed? 
Motion carries. We'll add that recommendation as well. Committee, if you turn to the um, let's see, page 15 of the agency's report, they have a slide there that discusses the federal COVID relief bill, HR 133, and the investment areas uh, through the $84 million that has been um, granted through that COVID relief bill to the state. I want to make a motion that simply codifies those numbers into our report so that we're able to take a look at those in ways and means. So what I'd like for it to show, Aaron, and as you know, for purposes of making a motion, um, under the increased preservation work that there's an additional $15 million, that there's an increase to local partnership projects of an increased $5 million, that under keeping state and local budgets whole, that that 37.5 million is broken out as roughly 12.5 million to the cities and counties through the revenue sharing. And then um, there is 25 million to modernization and expansion projects. No action there, just making sure those numbers are shared with the Ways and Means Committee so that they see that. And then also through the CARES Act funding under 14, which is the previous slide, that the items there that are passed through, that those are also shown as passed through dollars to those um, different entities that are noted there. Is there a second? Seconded by Senator Bowers. Any discussion on that motion? Senator Pittman. So you're just clarifying that this is, are these, are these prioritizations as determined by the Department of Transportation goals, or are these actually as they're supposed to be through the, the CARES Act? The way it was presented was that those, those, that's where they're going to spend those additional dollars that were delivered through the CARES Act. And I'm getting a nod from Lindsay that that's correct. Okay. And so we're just codifying in the notes for the budget that this is their intent? Yeah, basically taking just those slides and placing them in the budget committee report so that it shows those when Ways and Means is deliberating these budgets. Otherwise, I have to pass around paperwork. Any discussion? Senator Tyson. Thank you, Mr. Vice Chair. So the negative 100 FTE positions, is that shrinkage or... Are we deleting those positions? Those were, those were vacant, unfunded positions that the agency decided to remove from their reporting. So then my question would be, I, we'll finish with this, dispose of this, and then I have another question. Okay. Yeah, phone. absolutely. Any further discussions on that motion? Seeing none, all those in favor, signify by saying aye. Opposed? Motion carries. We'll add that to the subcommittee report, and we'll recognize Senator Tyson. Thank you, Mr. Vice Chair. On the FDEs, um, do they have any that we can remove that they're getting paid for that aren't filled positions? I know that that's kind of a gaming with the budgets. Um, You're asking about funded vacant FTEs yes. that currently exist. Um, Aaron, can you speak to any vacant and funded FTEs that are showing in KDOT? Uh, I have asked the agency for this information and I'm hoping that they are looking into providing it. Okay, Senator Peterson. Mr. Chairman, on uh, page 16 of our budget report, it says this year's budget does not include any unfunded vacant positions. In addition, the agency has relied more on contractual en engineering services to provide Current service levels while the agency works through difficulty in recruiting and retaining. I don't know if that helps, but that yeah, I think what she's point. asking about are funded vacant. They've removed unfunded vacant. So the question is just how many funded vacant positions are out there that we are paying for, but they aren't going to salaries and wages. And I'm sure that the agency can find that information for us. Lindsay's in the room and can hunt that down would be great and I would add to my question sure. um, they had approximately 500,000 in travel in state travel I 
last year? Is there any way that we can uh, reduce that number, especially with most meetings being uh, online? Sure. Thank you, Mr. Chairman. Any further deliberations, committee? Seeing none, the chair will entertain a motion on the Kansas Department of Transportation FY21 and 22 budgets as recommended by the subcommittee. Anyone want to make that motion? No, I need a motion. I'm entertaining a motion, and then I just sort of, sort of said it out loud so you'd know what to say, <laughs> Senator Hawk. Um, thank you. I want to ask. Uh, we, we talked about these other things. I assume they're going to be in there. Uh, would a motion to concur with the governor's recommendation be in order, and would that include the things that we've already mentioned? Yeah, you would um, make a motion stating that um, you're moving the Kansas Department of Transportation FY21 and 22 budgets as recommended by the subcommittee. So it contains the governor's recommendations and then our edits. I, I like the way I said that. That's through, fantastic. Through your Is there work. a second? Seconded by Senator Dietrich. Any discussion on the subcommittee recommendations for the Kansas Department of Transportation FY21 and 22 budgets? Senator Tyson. Thank you, Mr. Chair. I will be abstaining on this vote since I do not have the information on those questions. Thank you. Fair enough. We'll ask for that to get here before um, Ways and Means deliberates on the budget. Sure. Uh, and I, I assume that our motion <laughs> includes those items on page 11, uh, the driver's ed, the city county highway fund, the yes. utilization adjustment fund, and the, the coronavirus relief fund. Yeah, the base budget that we're edit editing is the governor's recommendations. That's what's in the budget bill. I'm sure everybody had that. Thank you. Yep, that's the budget bill as it's presented to the Ways and Means Committee. Any further discussion on the motion? Seeing none, all those in favor say aye. aye. Opposed? Motion carries. All right, I will hand it back over to Chairman Peterson. Well, committee, that is our agenda for today. Wish I would have known we would have scheduled a work in a bill on this day or two. Uh, with that, we have uh, two bills on hearing and one bill to work tomorrow. Don't intend to work Friday. We're going to try and get through our work. With that, we are adjourned.